So check this out guys, just got a zenit shard, it's always nice to see those laying down on the ground as a drop. So anyway, I just want to keep flowing out videos, acknowledging that with persistence overcomes all resistance and mix with a little creativity. Like this trip, I, n I forgot to even bring a range potion. A bastion potion and <laughs> lo and behold I was like oh I should just turn around now let's just see what we're gonna get so then I got a clue and something you know told me to like okay we should go in and, and just do the clue and I was like now nah, let's just complete the, the trip and so then literally like two kills after that clear is the next clue one or two cl kills after it was the next one or the one after that. I got the Zenit shard. And it's like amazing how it... And I have plenty of kill count here. I have thousands and thousands and thousands upon thousands of demonic gorilla kill count. I've made like close to half a billion gold pieces here in total. And this is where I've derived most of my bank. So I'm going to just obliterate this one right here. And then let's go and sell this thing. And I'd like to, to get uh, you guys interacting a little bit in the comments down below on like what your most memorable Zenit shard drop has been. Because I know everyone is out here. Okay, it could be this drop. It could be the next drop. It's a shame that people don't actually uh, either keep their malicious ashes or just scatter them. Look, it's 65 experience. All right, now it's getting a little tricky. So that was the second one. There's the third. Straight into melee. There's one, two, and then three. And then we gotta pretty much guess the next one. All right. So let's get out of here. Ah, and I never picked up malicious ashes. I'm such a hypocrite. Anyway, let's go back to the. Uh, Grand Exchange and sell this and add to the cash stock or the gold pieces. Funds are funds. Can transmute everything in RuneScape into real life. Might as well just keep on keeping on. So the Robin Hood hat sold. I almost forgot about that. And then uh so that that was from the other clue. And then here we go. So this is almost more than like a 10 million task. 10 million gold task. All right. Wow. They're selling for medium. That's awesome. And then I got another clue scroll to do. So I should just include that in my video. I'm only going to just skip to where I have the casket. And then we're going to open that. And then I'm going to upload this video. And then uh, we'll collect at the end. Let's see what's inside here. Ooh. guys this is the second zenit jar sarge shards drop for this task alone still got 188 left so so far it's a 17 million gold pieces task i had to teleport out i couldn't even get to the recording thing I'm working my way up to uh, getting one of those m1 chips for the computers maybe by the time i get it out i have an m2 instead well, they've been selling for medium. <laughs> yes, they have. Collect that. Thank you very much. Bango. More gold pieces. More gains. More skills to train. And this game is really fun before you're maxed. And I can only imagine how uh, god awful it is. So. Sort of like life, you know, the rich people get all rich and then they're like, hmm, 
I don't know what to do with my life anymore. Because then their whole, like, the goal of other people is just to get rich. It's just like RuneScape, you know? Oh, I want 100 mil. It's like it takes a long time to get your first 100 mil. And then now it's like you always have uh, wealth, you know? At like 300 or so. Four. 350. Somewhere between 3 and 350. So, uh, yeah. Comment, rate, subscribe. Aloha.